All right, parents, we've all been there. The kids come home with a full bag of candy, and they want to eat it all at once. Yes, it's part of the Halloween tradition, but much to their dismay, eating it all at once. Bad idea, bad idea. Dr. Dustin Burleson is a pediatric orthodontist at Children's Mercy. Welcome to the show. Thanks for, like, thanks for letting me dress up. This is yeah, nice well, me. what are you dressing as? <laughs> a dentist. A, a dentist. The scariest right. thing on Halloween ever, right? <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Okay, so what do you tell your kids to um, let them know that candy is not good for their health, their teeth? We, I mean, we try, to, we try to focus on the nutritional aspect of other foods and, and, mm -hmm. to, and, and to encourage them to enjoy it in smaller amounts. You know, there's over a million bacteria in every drop of saliva. And just mentioning Ew. sugar gets them really excited. So we tell kids, listen, there's no candy in the world that's so good it's worth losing a tooth over, right? Because so, that's very painful. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to get parents and, 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 and all the kids to focus on candies that may be a little better for your teeth. There are some that are good and some that are not so good. So. Okay, do you hand out toothbrushes? We hand out, actually, no, I don't hand out toothbrushes. We <laughs> hand out candies that, like chocolates, melt-in-your-mouth varieties, things that are a little, a, little, a little safer for the teeth. So you'd recommend chocolate? Chocolate's good. Actually, dark chocolate's good, has antioxidants, mm -hmm. and is a little healthier for your teeth. Anything that can wash away easily, we're telling, we're telling parents, send your kid out with a bottle of water. It'll help wash away some of the sugars if they're indulging while they're trick-or-treating. Okay, so chocolate and water. Yeah. Got it. Okay, how much is too much? What do you say? You know, we joke and say, if it takes two kids to drag the bag of candy into the house, <laughs> it's probably a little too much and so I think everyone anticipates that I'm gonna say any candy is too much candy but I'm realistic we want kids to have a good Halloween we want to them have fun but really to do it uh, in, in, in moderate amounts and so it's not so much how much sugar they're getting it's how frequently they're getting it so I'd rather them have a lot nutritional content aside I'd rather them have a lot in one setting mm -hmm. and brush and floss and mm -hmm. be done with it than to have it all day over and over and over again what do you say about all that leftover candy Tomorrow, the next day, the next day. Yeah, Third you, away? You no, know, there's there's opportunities. Our office is doing one. There's other offices in town that do candy exchanges. You can bring the leftover candy, mm -hmm. turn it in for something cool. We package up the leftovers and send it to the troops overseas as a little holiday gift. So, oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. I always think it's for the parents afterwards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's yes. my take, rule. Yeah, my the house. parents should take about 50% of the candy <laughs> away from the kids. I think that's that's a good we approach. We like go through and pick out. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. Here, this one's for yeah, you. Yeah, give them the stuff you don't like. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, what else can kids do in terms of just uh, uh, staying healthy all, all year long. We want to uh, encourage them to use uh, foods and things that have higher calcium levels. Mm -hmm. So uh, dairy products, cheeses, yogurts, uh, yogurt is like sugar-free yogurt is a good op a good alternative as well. So um, and then see your dentist obviously mm -hmm. twice a year. Brush and floss every day. Most of our patients, let's admit, a lot of them don't floss. If there's ever a day of the year to start flossing, let's make it Halloween. Maybe not a bad idea in exchange That's a great idea. in exchange for all the goodies you're going to have tonight. That's so, a great idea. Yeah. Okay, when do kids switch from the regular like the training tent, like, uh, toothpaste to the real toothpaste? That's a great question. We get this a lot. It's usually around age two when they can actually start to spit the toothpaste out. Toothpaste okay. has fluoride in it. If you have too much of the fluoride, it can be bad for your stomach. So around the age of two, you'll transition from the non-fluoride to the fluoridated toothpaste. And if you have questions, ask your pediatrician or ask your pediatric dentist. How do you make it fun? Do you have them saying? What do you do? They have these cool little toothbrushes that light up now, and they mm -hmm. light up for two minutes. And the kids get excited. Or you can put their favorite song on the radio for about two minutes and let them brush while the song is playing or brush while the toothbrush is lining up. My kids love that. Great advice on the perfect day that I'm sure you dread. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming on the Thanks show. Thanks for having me.